can the effects, visual effects packs be used in Unreal Editor for Fortnite? The answer is yes, but kinda. <laughs> so keep in mind that our VFX packs for Unreal Engine are specifically made for the normal version of Unreal Engine. That means that they still can be imported into UEFN, but they might not work as intended because UEFN lacks some features that Unreal has. In that sense, some features might be lacking such as customization or like being able to add more elements to the effects and whatnot. Because in terms of, of performance, UEFN has to be lighter because it needs to deploy on all platforms, be optimized and, and you know, being able to run on a switch compared to a 490, it's kind of a huge difference. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can import assets from our VFX packs for Unreal into UEFN. All right. So to do so, I have the base plate opened from UEFN, which is like a scene in Unreal Engine, really. And if I press play, I'm going to be able to play Fortnite and just move around the scene. This is Vexup, one of our custom stylized 3D characters uh, that looks pretty great here inside the Fortnite game. It's really, it fits like as if it was an actual skin. It's pretty cool. But uh, I want to import some effects. So I've got this instance of Unreal Engine 5.4 opened with the Befex Mega Bundle containing uh, anime stylized, central trails, free fire, flipbook effects. So let's say, for example, you want a flipbook effect there you would go and find the specific flipbook effect you'd want to have there. Let's say maybe an impact, impact blood, for example. And then we would want the, maybe not the one shot, but the one that's looping just so we can see it playing over and over again. So to easily do that, what you can do is just right click the asset, asset actions, and then migrate. And now you'll see all the dependencies and references that need to be exported along with this asset. So just press OK. When it asks you for a destination, just come here to the base plate of UEFN and in base plate content, right click and select show in Explorer. You can copy this address here by clicking and pressing Ctrl C and then you can paste it here. So this is the content folder. So you can select that and it would be migrating the asset. So if I access the base plate now, I should be able to see under effects, flipbook effects, shared, particles, impact, and there it is, Niagara system, impact plot, zero one. Well, you can't actually drag and drop this into the scene. And why is that happening? Well, if you open the system and you expand this, you'll find out that the system is playing nicely, everything is working great. But if you manage to click here on properties, you'll see that no effect type has been specified. This is something that's specific to UEFN. And that's one of the main reasons that we can't really deploy the assets specifically for UEFN uh, in that sense, because Unreal doesn't have this. And so it's, it, there's, it's a difference that doesn't allow us to easily like implement everything into a one single pack. We might actually need to release those just for UEFN. And it's, it's such a weird thing to do that, you know, we might not actually do it for now, but yeah. Who knows? So you can click on fix issue and then it will automatically assign a default effect type, but you can switch between different gameplay types of effects or looping or critical, you know, th those have different properties. You should really check that out uh, in the Valkyrie uh, documentation. But if you save this, now it should be, what, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Just close that. All right. And now you can access this and drag and drop into the scene and it should work straight away. You can just place it in top of PEXA, tweak the scale parameters so it's like 0.3 or something like that. And, and yeah, you can see the impact happening on top of VEXA's hat right now. So it works nicely. I mean, uh, it has some differences compared to Unreal still, uh, obviously, because, you know, we've developed the back for Unreal uh, in that sense. So. Maybe in the near future, we'll be developing packs just for UEFN due to the high demand there is for that and the popularity of UEFN games and the business that's behind that. It seems like there's a lot of people making a lot of money there. So good opportunity for you guys to jump in and create new maps, new games, and try out all the 
creatively you might have to be able to make a living out of this, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I hope uh, you really liked this small tutorial that allows you to know how to import the effects into UEFN. And let us know if there's any other questions you might have. You can ask them on the Discord server or at info at All right, have a nice day. Bye.